सो टुडे आवर सब्जेक्ट इज एप्टीट्यूड एंड टॉपिक इज परसेंटेज सो द टर्म परसेंटेज मीन्स फॉर एवरी हंड्रेड और हंड्रेड पॉथ द परसेंटेज इट इज ए फ्रैक्शन उज डिनोमिनेटर इज हंड्रेड एंड न्यूमिनेटर इज कॉल्ड रेट ऑफ परसेंटेज और हंड्रेड पॉथ सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल थर्टी फाइव बाई हंड्रेड दैट मीन्स थर्टी फिफ्थ आउट ऑफ हंड्रेड पॉर्स सम इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर्मुलास वी हैव टू कन्वर्ट ए फ्रैक्शन इन टू परसेंटेज जस्ट मल्टीप्लाई मल्टीप्लू द फ्रैक्शन बाई हंड्रेड एंड पुट द सैन पर्सेंटेज फॉर एग्जाम्पल फाइव बाई थर्टी फाइव दैट इज इक्वल फाइव बाई थर्टी फाइव इंटू हंड्रेड पर्सेंटेज दैट मीन्स फोर्टीन टू बाई सेवन पर्सेंटेज एंड वन मोर फॉर्मुला इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू अस दैट इज टू कन्वर्ट ए पर्सेंटेज इंटू द फ्रैक्शन जस्ट रिमूव द परसेंटेज सैन एंड डिवाइड द क्वान्टिटी बाई हंड्रेड एंड वी विल सी सम एग्जाम्पल्स ऑल्सो and one more formula we have that is uh, the percentage of one quantity to another is, is equal to first quantity by second quantity into 100 and note uh, percentage of two quantities must be used same units example here percentage of 30 kg into 120 kg that means uh, first quantity is uh, 30 kg and uh, second quantity is uh, 120 kg into 100 that means 25 percentage and we'll see one more example 100 papers in one ream what is the percentage of 100 papers in one ream papers so what is the percentage of 100 papers in one ream papers here first quantity is which is the first quantity 100 papers is the first quantity and the second quantity is one ream papers one ream means is nothing but 500 papers it is equal to 500 papers means we are called bundle papers so already we have formula first quantity by second quantity into 100 here what is the first quantity 100 is the first quantity and uh, second quantity that means one ream of papers that is uh, 500 into 100 2 zeros 2 zeros will cancel and 5 1 5 20 that means uh, 20 percentage 100 papers in uh, 500 papers is uh, 20 percentage right convert the values into fractions already we know how to convert fractions into percentage just multiply the just uh, multiply the 100 so here some fra percentages is there we want to to convert this percentages into fractions so what can we do just divide by 100 first problem 40 percentage this is a percentage we want to to change this one to fraction so 40 by 100 so here 0 0 will cancel and 2 2 Two five ja. This is a fraction is is equal to five by four. And second one seventy five percentage is there. So is this also percentage? Now we want to do convert the fraction. Already we know seventy five percentage. Just divide by hundred. Twenty five three ja and twenty five four ja. So seventy five percentage is equal to which fraction? Three by four. And one more fraction is there here. That is a twelve and a half percentage. So this is the percentage. Now we want to convert into the fraction. So how just to divide by hundred. So twelve by one by two. This is a which fraction? Mixed fraction. So twelve two ja twenty four and plus one twenty five by two into hundred. Simply twenty five one ja, twenty five four ja. So it is uh, equal to one by eight. So twelve and a percentage is equal to one by eight fraction. And one more example here. So now one more convert the following uh, into the percentage. These are all called uh, fractions. What can we do now? We want to to convert these fractions into percentage. How it possible? Just multiply the hundred. Five one ja, five twenty ja, twenty into three. That means so sixty percentage. So the value of the three by five, three by five fraction it is equal to sixty percentage. And one more problem is there here. 
that is uh, 13 by 20 it is also one type of fraction and we want to convert uh, this one into percentage by multiplying the 100 again 21 ja, 25 ja. and 13 into 5 what is the value of 13 into 5 that is, is equal to 65 percentage that means uh, 13 by 20 it is a fraction it is equal to 60 by percentage and uh, third one this is a uh, 7 by 25 it is also one type of fraction and now we want to convert this fraction into percentage how just multiply by 100 again 25 one ja, 25 four ja, and 7 four ja, it is equal to 28 percentage find the 30 percentage of value in 150 so find the 30 percentage of value in 150 here 150 is the 100 percentage 150 is equal to 100 percent we want 30 percentage of value in 150 We want 30% of value in 150. So, already we know 150 is the is equal to 100 percentage. We want 30 percentage. Simply here 150 by 100 into 30 is equal 0, 0 will cancel and again this 0, this 0 will cancel. Remain 15 into 3, 45. So, 45 is the 30 percentage of value in 150. So, already uh, we will discuss another method also that is uh, n. This is a shortcut method to you. One fifty is equal to 100 percentage. Uh, we want to, to remove one zero here. One fifty is equal to 100 percent just remove 10 from here remove 10 from here so what is the remaining numerals 15 equal to 10 percent is it clear so first of all 150 is equal to 100 percent i removed both side 110 and remaining numerals is 15 is equal to 10 that means so 15 is equal to 10 percent now we want 30 percent of value so just multiple by 3 and uh, this right side also multiple by 3 10 percentage into 3 that means so 30 percentage and 15 into 3 that means so 45 this is the shortcut method for finding percentage of value and we will follow this method to next question also 175 equal to 100 percentage just remove both side 110 zeros so there is no chance to removing zeros so better to find we want 20 percent as a value in 175 here zero cancellation is very important why because time safety is very important in our any examination so zero zero will cancel two one ja two five ja five three is a fifteen and uh, remainder is two and uh, living number is five twenty five means uh, five five is a twenty five so what is the value of uh, twenty percentage in one seventy five that means uh, one seventy five thirty five what is the value of twenty percentage in one seventy five thirty five a class contains two forty students in which seventy percentage are passed find the number of passed students once again please listen the question a class contained 240 students in which 70 percentage are passed find the number of passed students so a class container a class container only 240 students in that 240 students who there boys and girls there so in that students 70 percentage are passed so this 240 students is equal to how much percentage 100 percentage so, how many percentage of students is passed here? 70 percentage. So, 240 students is there. That means uh, total students 240 means 100 percentage. So, 70 percentage students are passed here. Means remaining how much percentage of students is failed? 30 percent of students is uh, failed.
30 percent of students failed but here question what is asking number of passive student okay already we know 70 percentage of students is a passive just find the 70 percentage of value in 100 percent or in 240 so 240 is, is equal to 100 percentage why because uh, total number of students is always uh, 100 percentage so by can easily manually measure trick this is a uh, just remove one zero here again uh, zero removed so that means uh, 10 percentage equal to 24 but we want uh, what is the value 70 percentage so just multiple the 7 10 percentage into 7 that means uh, 70 percentage 24 into 7 so 7 4 is a 28 and 7 2 is a 14 and 2 is there 168 so how many students is passed here 70 percentage the 70 percentage value is 168 so pass to students is 160 days Eight. So next question. So in this question, a class contain 150 students. They are 80 percentage of boys and find the number of girls. So in this question, see the class contain 150 students. In this 150 students, 80 percentage are boys. Remaining 20 percentage is girls only. So, a class contain 150 students means uh, students is nothing but uh, total boys and girls is uh, 150 members. So, 150 it is equal to 100 percentage. Already we know boys percentage is given 80 percentage. So, in that 100 percentage students boys is 80 percentage remaining 20 percentage is belongs to which girls only so now we want to find number of girls in that total students 150 students So, this is a some magical methods to find uh, number of girls or number of students in percentage. So, just 150 students is equal to 100 percentage. Remove one zero here and right side also remove one zero. That means uh, 10 percentage is equal to 15 members. We want to find 20 percentage. That means number of girls. So, multiple by 2. 10 into 2 that means uh, 20 percentage and 15 into 2 that means so 30 this is the number of girls so number of girls is 20 percentage the value of 20 percentage in 150 is 30 so this is the fifth question an employee salary is 8000 and his, his expenditure is 85 percentage find is a uh, savings so here an employee salary is uh, 8000 an employee salary is 8000 this is equal to which uh, how much percentage this is equal to 100 percentage So, total salary is, is equal to always uh, 100 percentage. In that uh, total salary 8000 is expenditure is how much percentage? Uh, 85 percentage of uh, expenditure. So, in this 100 percentage, 85 percentage expenditure means how much percentage uh, that employee saves uh, 15 percentage only.
15 was now we want to find the that 15 percentage value that means uh, saving saving money so this is a magical tricks method and so better to remove one zero here and remove right side so one zero so what is the value of 10 percentage 10 percentage value is 800 so we want to do 15 percentage already we know 10 percentage of value so what is the half of the in 10 percentage half of the in 10 percentage half means so five percentage and in 800 half means so 400 so now just add the so 800 plus 400 add 1200 and 10 percentage plus 15 percentage that is equal to 15 percentage so now what is the value of 15 percentage 1200 it is the employee saving money otherwise better to follow concept method also Two zeros and two zeros will cancel. Eight into fifteen that is equal to one twenty. One more zero here. Please keep it here. So twelve hundred rupees. Employee saves the money. So this is the sixth question. A class contains one twenty students in which sixty percent is our boys. Find the number of boys. How many more than that of girls? So a class contains. One second. Uh, please see the question. A class container 120 students. In that 120 students, uh, who there? Boys there and girls there. In that 60% uh, are boys there. So find the number of boys is more than the girls. So total class contain 120 students. 120 students uh, who boys and girls uh, that is equal to 120 students. So total boys and girls is 120 members. Sir. This is equal to 100 percentage. So already one information is given. How much percent of boys is there? 60 percent. In that 100 percentage, 60 percentage is boys there. Remaining percent, 40 percent who there? Girls only. So, by comparing percentage, how much percentage more boys is there comparing girls? So, boys are 60 percentage and girls are 40 percentage. How much percentage more the boys compared with girls? So, 60 percentage boys and here to come 40 percentage girls is there. How much percentage is more there? 20 percentage more boys there. Twenty percent is more boys there than girls. So just find the twenty percent is value in that hundred percent is. Zero zero will cancel. Again two one ja two five ja. Five one ja five two ja ten and two zero is there twenty four. So. 24 boys are more there than that of girls. This is the easy method to find in one step only. Otherwise, we have one more method. In that method, we want to find total number of boys and total number of girls. And after we will compare boys and girls. So in this one, we want to do three steps. But in this one, we want to do only one step. That is a 20 percentage. An examination of 600 marks Venker scored 432 marks find his percentage of marks so this is we are regularly seeing in our class also and uh, here okay I will give one magical trick to you so better to follow that one only
so percentage of marks we wanted to find percentage of marks so just uh, how many marks venkat got Venkat marks and total marks. Into hundred. So how many marks Venkat got? Four thirty two marks got. Total marks is six hundred. Into hundred. Already we know one to two uh, percentage just multiplied by hundred. Two zeros, so two zeros will cancel. Again, see your calculation. Six one ja, six seven ja, forty two, and here one and uh, one is there, and remaining number numeral is a two, so twelve. In which uh, table will go six two ja, seventy two percentage. An examination of six uh, hundred marks. Venkat got four thirty two marks. Uh, that four thirty two marks is how much percentage in six hundred marks? Seventy uh, two percentage. This is the our answer. Next question, and this is also very important to every competitive. So a person weight is increased from forty to forty five kgs. So how much percentage of weight is increased? So better to follow this question also. Some magical tricks I will give to you. What is uh, that magical tricks? Uh, so here. Yeah, this is also one of the magical trick percentage of increase or decrease percentage of increase or decrease is equal to how much increased or decreased How much increased or decreased by initial quantity? Into hundred. So percentage of increase or percentage of decrease is asked means so is is equal to How much is increased or decreased by initial value into hundred? So, so here, what is asking in the question? What is the percentage of weight is increased? We want a weight is a, how much percentage of weight is a increased from forty to forty five kgs? It is a increased value only. How much increased? That person is increased five kgs. What is the initial value here? Initial value from forty to forty five kgs means uh, initial value is forty. Uh, into hundred. See here uh, one calculation important. Five one ja, five eight ja. So hundred by eight is there. So hundred by eight. Uh, first of all, take ten. So eight one ja eight. And two is there. Two zero. Eight two is a sixteen. What is the remainder? Four by by eight. That is equal to twelve one by two percentages. So how much percentage is weight is increase? Twelve one by two percentages is weight is increase. This is our answer. Come to the next question. Here a scooter cost is decreased from thirty thousand to. Twenty-four thousand. So, how much percentage the the cost of the scooter is decreased? This is the question again. The scooter cost is decreased from thirty thousand to twenty-four thousand. So, what is the percentage of cost is decreased? Already before before problem we will discuss discuss it. 
how much percentage increased or decreased is, is equal to how much is increased or decreased by initial quantity into 100. Once again, I will wrote there that formula. Percentage of decreased how much decreased by initial quantity that means so first quantity into 100. So, here what is the cost price of a scooter initially 30,000 and uh, how much is decreased 6,000 in decreased. So, 30,000 minus 24,000 what is the difference of value 6,000 that is uh, 6,000 is uh, decreased money. By initial initial quantity means initial value how much what is the cost price of uh, initial value to scooter 30,000. into 100. So, calculation is very important to every problem. So, 3 zeros, 3 zeros will cancel and 6 1 ja, 6 5 ja, 5 1 ja, 5 20 ja. That means, so, how much percentage the, the cost of the scooter is decreased? 20 percentage. This is uh, our answer, required answer. So, this is our 10th problem. A class container 60 percentage are boys number of girls are 80 find the total number of students this is also one of the different problem and before we will discuss some problems related to boys and girls this problems reverse is asking to that problems so you see a class contained 60 percentage of boys so actually a class contain boys and girls means total boys the number of boys and girls is equal to how much percentage 100 percentage So, the total boys and girls is equal to 100 percentage. Already here, one uh, information is given. How much percentage is boys is there? 60 percentage. In this 100 percentage, uh, 60 percentage boys is there means so, uh, remaining 40 percentage is equal to girls only. But one more information is given in our question that is uh, uh, number of girls is 80. Already we know uh, number of percentage is uh, how much uh, girls percentage is uh, 40 percentage and uh, number of girls is equal to 80. So, already 40 percentage uh, value we know that is equal to 80. So, we wanted to find a uh, total number of students. Already we know number of girls we know and uh, percentage of girls we know. So, by using this one we can find uh, total number of uh, students hundred percent is how much eighty that is number of girls is equal to forty percent as we want to find hundred percent is calculation see here zero zero will cancel 4 1 ja, 4 25 ja, and uh, 25 age ja, 200 members. So, this is the total number of uh, students. This is our uh, required answer. Suppose uh, for asking uh, what is the find the total number of boys? Okay, here question is okay. Find the total number of students means uh, 200 members. Okay, in this question, just I will change the quotation. What is that? Uh, so, number of total number of boys is uh, 200. Same question I am asking uh, reversely. So, find the total number of students. Uh, now, I am asking uh, find the total number of uh, boys. See, question is uh, some little bit I will change it. Before question, total number of students uh, means uh, boys and girls. Here, total number of uh, boys.
what is this value 40 percent is equal to 80 members this is a girls we want to what is the value 60 percentage this is a boys we wanted to find now number of boys Zero zero will cancel. Four one ja, four fifteen ja, fifteen eight ja, one twenty. See here, uh, already we know number of students is two hundred. Number of uh, girls are given in our question only eighty. Number of boys, so boys plus girls, boys plus girls, one twenty plus eighty equal to two hundred. So our answer is. Uh, correct only see this is also very important question in the exam pass marks percentage is 35 percentage a student got a 32 percentage of marks and failed by six marks less than so find the total marks in that examination so simply remember total words is nothing but a hundred percentage So, we wanted to find total marks that is equal to 100 percentage. Already here pass percentage is given. How much pass percentage is equal to 32 percentage? But uh, bad luckily one student got 32 percentage and he failed by 6 marks lesson. For example, I am the student, I got 32 percentage and I failed in one exam. Suppose I will got 6 marks more there, I also passed border marks. Border marks means pass percentage I arrive well. So, Simply remember, so here uh, that student is uh, equal to me, I am the student, I got 32 percentage and uh, I failed uh, 6 marks lesson. Suppose uh, I got uh, that 6 marks also, I will be also passed, means uh, I also got uh, 35 percentage. Concept is uh, very important to uh, in our chapter. So, I got 32 percentage and failed by 6 marks. Okay, when I got uh, 6 marks, I also passed and uh, that passed is equal to 35 percentage. Means, uh, this 32 goes to that side. What will become plus become minus. This is a uh, 6 marks is equal to how much percentage? 3 percentage. We wanted to find how much percentage? 100 percentage. That means uh, we wanted to find total marks. Already we know what is the value? 3 percentage is equal to 6 marks. So we wanted to find 100 percentage. That means uh, total marks. So, 3 1 ja, 3 2 ja. So, 2 into 100, 200 marks. So, this is uh, our answer. So, total marks in that uh, examination is uh, 200 marks. So, one more question. This is a question be uh, belongs to elections or voting system. So, election between two persons uh, are there. So, one person got 45 percentage of votes and is defeated by 750 votes. Find the total number of votes polled. Already I said total means it is equal to 100 percentage. Here, what, what we want to total number of votes want. So, already I said many times total it is equal to 100 percentage.
So, here in the election two candidates are two candidates voted one candidate got how much percentage 45 percentage and another candidate got how much in 100 percentage defeated candidate or loser candidate got 45 percentage winner got how much percentage 55 percentage. So, you see election between two persons one person is loser and another person are winner. Winner got how much percentage? Who got more percentage? That person is a winner. Who got less percentage? That person is a loser. In this, who is the loser? This person is the loser and this person is the winner. So, loser defeated by how many words? 750 words. And uh, how many words different there? 750. So, the 10 percentage is equal to 10 percentage. The 10 percentage is equal to 750 words. We want to do 100 percentage. That means uh, total number of words pulled. See, simply we follow magical trick here. 10 percentage into 10 means uh, 100 percentage. Simply, similarly, right side so do 10 see 10 percent as value we know that is equal to 750 words we want to do 100 percent now so by just multiple by 10 is both side so 10 into 10 100 percentage 750 into 10 7500 this is our required answer and uh, this is our number of words uh, pulled so, our 13th question, in a town total uh, members is 5000, election between two persons is uh, contested, so 20 percentage of votes are invalid, one candidate got 54 percentage of votes and uh, number of voters who got defeated candidate. So, this is a very very important question, why because in this uh, two statements are there, the two statements are very important and many times uh, this type of questions came in a uh, number of bank uh, related exams. So, come to the main uh, this is the uh, first of all uh, uh, note it, uh, this is uh, important. So, here in a town total number of members is 5000 ok for example take any one town. So, this is a one uh, town or one village in this uh, total how many members there uh, in that village uh, these are people just think like that. So, total members is uh, 5000. So, in this village all are uh, did words. So, in that words 20 percent of words is uh, invalid why because due to some wrong printing or wrong ok that is uh, no need to us ok some in that 5000 members voted in that 5000 uh, words uh, 20 percentage are invalid means uh, total members is al already I said many times 5000 is equal to how much percentage 100 percentage. In that how many words are invalid? 20 percentage. So, just find 20 percentage or 80 percentage. Why? Because 20 percentage of words invalid means how many percentage of words valid? 80 percentage. So, better to follow magical trick. So, 0, 0 will cancel. 10 percentage, 10 percentage is nothing but how much it is equal to 500. Ok, we want to do valid words, valid words how much percentage, see here 20 percentage invalid means 80 percentage are valid, just multiple by 8. <coughs> 8 5 ja? 40 and 2 zeros is there, so 10 into 8, 80 percentage. Simply here, see here, 80 percentage is equal to 4000. It is uh, what is the uh, valid words?
so valid words 80 percentage that is equal to 4000 so in this uh, 80 percentage winner got how much percentage 54 percentage right so this is the uh, every student uh, doing mistake so 4000 is equal to 80 percentage is it okay but uh, when i am distributing to these words uh, means uh, 4000 words uh, when we are distributing to these 4000 words to winner and loser that time um, take 100 percentage again i am saying why because uh, this is a mistake many students are doing so they are lost marks that's why i am saying this question is uh, very important to us so when we are distributing the valid words uh, to winner and loser that time take the 4000 words belongs to 100 percent when we are distributing winner and loser that time take 4000 how much percentage 100 percent so this is the main important point so now in this 4000 words winner got how much percentage Fifty four percentage, so hundred percentage four thousand. Winner got to fifty four percentage. Loser for forty six percentage. So we wanted to find that forty six percentage. That means uh, defeated person uh, how many words uh, pulled. Calculation is important. Two zeros and two zeros will cancel. Forty and four zero is there. So four six are twenty four. Four four are sixteen. One eight is there and uh, keep one zero. So defeated person got uh, one thousand eight forty words. This is the our required uh, answer and uh, this is a model is a very important model in every bank clerk or bank PO examination in other competitive also and uh, go to next question in examination pass marks is 40 percentage a student got uh, 230 marks and uh, 80 marks are more got so find the total number of marks see this type of questions all are important uh, banking sector or PO so marks related questions is very important so in an examination pass marks is how much percentage total marks uh, is always 100 percentage pass marks pass percentage is uh, 40 percentage already a student got 230 marks and uh, a student got uh, 230 marks and he got uh, 60 marks more than pass marks 60 sorry 80 marks uh, more than pass marks so a student got uh, 80 marks uh, more than uh, pass marks okay so what is the pass marks right now for example i am the student uh, 10 marks is the pass marks uh, but i got uh, 5 more marks means how many marks i got 15 yes is it clear similarly a student got 230 marks and he got 80 more marks than pass marks so what is the pass marks so 150 is our pass marks already we know pass percentage 40 percentage this is equal to 40 percentage so simply we can find the total marks that means 100 percentage so calculation here 0 and 0 will cancel 4 1 ja 425 ja. so 25 into 15 so 25 10 ja 250 and 25 5 ja 125 that is uh, 375 this is a total number of marks and our required answer so this is also very important to us and this is a uh, one of the magical trick 
so if a's income is x percentage x percentage is more than that of b's income so a's is how much less x by 100 plus x into 100 percentage so if a's income is x percentage more than that of b's then b's income is x by 100 plus x into 100 percentage less than that of a's this is a one of the magical trick to find in a in time to answer here yes, see here two persons is there if Ravi salary is 10 percentage more than Raju then how much percentage are less than Raju so if Ravi salary is 10 percentage more than Raju yes some little bit okay if Ravi salary is 10 percentage more than Raju then how much percentage less than Raju see here in question less than is there percentage of less is, is equal to x by 100 plus x into 100 this is a one of the magical formula to us so we want to do here question less is there less means x by 100 plus x into 100 so what is the x value in that question only we have one value that is only x value what is the one value 10 percentage only so 100 plus x x means 10 that is 110 into 100 so 0 0 will cancel 10 into 10 100 by 11 so 11 9 99 and remainder 1 is there that is here and 9 1 by 11 percentage is less so percentage is it is nothing but per every 100 and it is a fraction I have denominator is 100 numerator is called rate of percentage in percentage every competitor particularly banking and clerk two or five questions will come so the some of the questions is very important like Ravi salary is more than Raju how much percentage is less than and similarly one type of question is very important that is okay particularly one person is there and first his salary is in increase 10 percentage after decrease 10 percentage so first increase of 10 percentage and again decrease of 10 percentage what is the change of his salary this type of uh, questions is very important in banking sector so and uh, one more question uh, that questions is uh, belongs to both uh, percentage and uh, and mensurations what type of questions uh, okay one square is there so the side of the square is increase uh, 20 percentage what is the change of its area so this is a question is uh, belongs to both the chapters one is the percentage, one is the mensuration. In mensuration, which topic? Two dimensional. Otherwise, one more question. See, one rectangle is there. So, the length of the rectangle is increased 30 percentage and uh, breadth is uh, decreased 20 percentage. So, what is the change in its area? So, this is the very, very important questions and uh, in next class, we will see these answers.